when I was recording the video about Copernicium, or Copernicum as I would like to call it, I said that I didn't have a tie with element 112 on it. I hope those of you, if you're watching, if you're manufacturing ties, I'm in the market for a new one. Or you can send me one to advertise. And while I was on holiday, a letter arrived from <coughs> Germany, from the um, institute where they've made all the elements from 107 up to 112, and they've sent me a tie, and which has got all of the elements. I'll unpack it in front of you. It's got all the um, different elements they've made, you can see here, and how they decay, but they haven't yet put in 112 because the name hasn't been um, decided. And what happens, of course, is that when they form one of these elements, it decays from one radioactive <coughs> element to another. So the, what these are showing are the way they decay. So when you make one of these elements, it's only short-lived and it decays. But it doesn't just decay once, it decays to a whole series of elements. So if you look here, element borium decays to form dubnium and then to rutherfordium. Or here we have Darmstadtium that goes to Hassium, and then <coughs> Siegborium, Rutherfordium, Nobelium, and so on. So it's going to be really fun to wear. Though I might have to have a different colour shirt to make it look nice. And all being well, I want to go and visit the Institute so that we can actually see where these elements have been made.